Assalamu alaikum. We all know about Future Restore. Today I will show you how to Future Restore your iOS device to an unsigned iOS version. Uh, first of all, we will need your SHSH blobs that you have saved earlier. Then you have to be able to set boot nodes on your iOS device. Now download the IPSW file of the iOS version you want your device to restore in your computer. I already have it downloaded right here. We are gonna use it later. Now you will download the SHSH blobs and to download the blobs you will need your device's ECID. You can get your ECID from iTunes or Trio Tools. In this case I am using Trio Tools. Now move your cursor to ECID and click to copy the ECID of your iDevice. Now we will go to TSS Server's website to download our SHSH blobs. In the website you will see a place titled recover shh link uh, so you're gonna have to paste the ecid here don't change hex to any other format and tap get your blobs and wait a few seconds now click on download zip to download the files in your pc I'm moving it to desktop so that I can access it very easily. Now we will download compatible SEP and baseband for my device. Many people suggest the iPhone Wiki website to find which SEP and baseband is uh, compatible for my device, but I find that very hard. I'll show you another way to do it, and that's very easy. Open ipsw.me website by typing it in your browser and wait until the website loads. You will see a section called Identify My iOS Device. Click on it. And I'm choosing iPad as I'm using iPad. If you are using an iPhone, then click it. In the shown box, write down your device's model number. You can find yours in the backside of your device. Mine is A1600, so I'm writing down it. So you can see, now it's showing my device, I'm going to browse all iOS releases. You will see some information of your device. The one we need is the board configuration, which is J86MAP for my device. We will need the configuration later. So now copy the link of the IPSW file, which contains compatible SIP and baseband for your iOS device. So right click on the mouse bar and copy link address. We are going to extract that on online. So here is a very good website which allows to extract archives. Paste the link download below and click on open and wait until the website extracts the archive. When it's finished, you will see the files that was in the firmware and scroll down, you will see there is more than one SIP and baseband in the firmware file, but we will need only one. And to find out which one is for your device, we are first downloading the build manifest.plist file. Double click to save the file. Now open the plist file using any proprietary list editor. Now go to list view. Here you will see many keys which contains various information. Open up build identities and the subfiles. In the info section you will see a key named device class which contains the value of your board configuration number. In my case mine one is 8 J86 MAP. So I will open up every file until I find mines one now I find mine uh, here it says J86 MAP which matches mine one so I will close the ones I don't need 
Now open up manifest. Here you will see a section named um, SAP. Open it up. Open info. And now you will see the name of the SAP file that is compatible for your device. In my case, it is um, j86m.release.im4p. So I'll have to download this one. J86m release dot im 4 p this one double click it to download now we will find the baseband open up baseband firmware info and check the path mav7 mav8 10.3.1.00 release dot baseband firmware so I'm finding this one here is it double clicking it again to download now we'll need future restore and as I am on windows I will download iRestore it is a fork of future restore and uses a GUI so that the process becomes very easy I'm moving everything to desktop so that I can access all of them easily. Now extract the blobs archive that we downloaded earlier. After opening the folder, we will see some subfolders which are basically named on the iOS version and as I am restoring to iOS 12.1.1, I'll open that one. Now open no epinons folder. Here you'll see more than one blobs file, so I'll have to use the latest one. Open that using proper list editor. And go to list view. Here you'll see a key named generator which contains a value. Now be very careful set this value as a boot nonce in your device now open your device and make sure you have logged out of iCloud and iTunes store I'm just showing you this and you can see I'm on iOS 12.0.1 so now go to uncover and uh, settings section now you'll see a section named boot nonce paste the generator value here and re jailbreak your device again to make sure that the boot nonce has been set now extract the iRestore archive open the folder now we will move our SH, SH blobs and baseband and zip file in this folder so that we can use it very easily and also the firmware file and now connect your device to your PC now double tap on iRestore.exe which is basically a executable file wait a few seconds now you'll see the iRestore interface which looks pretty good now tap on choose IPSW and select the firmware file then save then the build manifest the property list file and blobs and the baseband file that you have downloaded earlier now I want to see what's really going on so I'll check the debug and now 
Make sure you're not checking use latest shape and the latest base band. Leave that as it was. Now I'm pressing go. It will start the restoration process. Now your device will connect to recovery mode. Wait a few seconds. And that's all we had to do actually. The rest is up to iRestore. Now your device screen should turn to green for a second. You can read it here. Setting BG color which stands for background color to green. If you don't see a green screen then your device didn't boot IBEC correctly. So your device should turn to green for a second or two. Now just wait. You should probably see a progress bar in your device's screen by now. That means the iRestore is restoring the firmware in your device. Wait until that's filled up. After that, uh, iRestore will show you the results. You can see it showed done, restoring succeeded. So that means I restored successfully restored my iDevice. Now the device will boot up and I have to activate it again. So in the, in your case, if it shows any error code, don't forget to write that code down so that you can troubleshoot it. I will suggest everyone to reset the device from settings again and then start using it. Now if you guys have any questions, then don't forget to ask me. I will try to answer them all. So this is how you can use Future Restore to restore your iDevice to any unsigned iOS version as long as you have SH, SH blobs of that version and you can uh, set button ons to your device and you have a compatible shape and baseband. So that was it. Peace out.